We're talking about the Pikes Peak Cog Railway today, guys. Stay tuned to the end, you'll get to hear all about it. Hey guys, I'm James Dean, team leader of the James E. Mountain Homes team. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Just really quick before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that subscription button down below, hit that notification bell. That keeps you updated on all the new videos that we have coming out weekly. And uh, we've got several that come out each week um, on this channel. So please, please stay up to date with that. Also, if you've got any questions whatsoever that are real estate related or just in the community, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and give us a call. You can either call us at 719-266-2725 five you could text us to that number as well or you can email us at info at jdmret.net please whatever you got to do to get those questions to us please ask we're here to help we're here to provide value to you and helping you make informed decisions whether you're looking to buy or sell real estate or just typical questions for the community out here we are local experts of this area and we love this area so please 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 reach out to us and we hope you guys enjoy this video all right guys in the fashion of talking about the pice peak toll road there's also another portion of pice peak that we cannot avoid and cannot talk miss that we don't want to miss and it's my most exciting way and fun way to get up the pike's peak the top of pike's peak mountain that's the pike's peak cog railway leaves out of manitou and goes all the way up to the summit now what's really really cool and unique about this train is the way it actually operates it's actually got these cogs that pull it all the way up the mountain so you don't have to worry about a runaway train coming all the way back down either it's a very safe way to go take a look at it it's a very interesting way to go take a look at the Pice Peak Mountain area as well. Now, this is a really, really fascinating thing to do, but it's also a very popular thing to do too. And I tell you that because I want to make sure that you guys understand you can't just show up. You might get lucky enough to be able to do that, but your best bet is to reserve your seat or to at least get that ticket reserve your time slot on there too. So and you do that by going online and looking up the Cog Railway for Pikes Peak, and you can actually make all those reservations there. Now you can actually reserve your seat. You can also get standard seating, which is a little bit cheaper, which means it's gonna be first come, first serve for those seats that are available. Or you can even engineer a spot next to the engineer, which is very, very limited seating, and it's gonna be very difficult to do, but it's supposed to be one of the coolest things to actually get done out there. I've never done it personally, but I've heard of folks that have, and they said they absolutely loved it. Now, some things as you kind of get ready and prepare to go out there is make sure you've got some blankets. You can have a pretty significant temperature change from Manitou to Pice Peak, not just in the wintertime, but also in the summertime. Always make sure you've got jackets, blankets. It can be open air seating a lot too. So you're just sitting there, you're not moving around and keeping warm, but you're gonna be sitting there for a significant amount of time. You wanna make sure you're comfortable. Bring a hot drink if you want to as well. You'll see different sides and different parts of the Pice Peak side or, or the, uh, the mountain side than you ever would if you drove up. Um, really the only other way to get those views is typically to fly around in a helicopter, uh, which I've done in the military, which is pretty cool, but not something that most people get a chance to do but you get to start from the very bottom of manitou manitou is a cool little town you can check out you can do things in and it's not scheduled in the sense of like when you have to get back on the train typically usually you've got your time for going up and they got the last train coming down and they're always going to make sure they're announcing that stuff too but it takes you all the way up to the summit they're going to talk to you about different things along the way they're going to call out different animals they see along the way too and it's just this amazing historical thing that you get to do with your family that takes you from having to stress and worry about driving up that that Pice Peak Toll Road, which can be pretty daunting if you've not done it before. We're worrying about brakes, and if you're the driver, you're not necessarily getting a chance to enjoy the views as much as everybody else that's sitting there looking out the side windows. You're focused on the road. At least I hope you are focused on the road out there too. The pricing on this can change and fluctuate dramatically. Usually, the peak season's the summertime. I'm just going to tell you this: look it up online and get the ex the exact amounts that they're doing today. As of today, you can pretty much get any ticket for less than seventy five dollars that's not the engineer seats that's your reserve seats and down and it can go all the way down to closer to 50 when you look at the first come first serve basis and yes they do charge tickets for kids 12 and under as well and the reason for that is because they're taking up a seat typically for somebody else that could have been a full adult paying for that also but super super cool thing to go out and check out they got a little gift shop uh, that you can look at too and buy stuff for the cog railway as well little souvenirs that you can do on the way up and down but this is a magnificent way to take family 
family and actually get a chance to go enjoy Pikes Peak and to do it at a very nice, relaxed, leisurely pace. If you're doing the Cog Railway, I would plan on it being at least a three quarter of a day event so that that way you've got plenty of time and you don't feel rushed. If not, just plan a full day on there. You can take it up in the morning, eat lunch up at the summit, and then work your way back down as well. But it's a really cool thing to check out and it's definitely one of those things that it's a must do. Uh, at one point when you come out here to the Pipe Speaker is take the Cog Railway. So I hope you guys get a chance to get out there and really experience this and see this. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that video and once again, before before you sign off, make sure you hit that subscription button, that notification down, bell down below. That will keep you updated on all the new videos that we have come out that are here to inform you and help keep you updated on what's happening here, both in the community and in real estate as well. And once again, too, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call, 719-266-2725. You can text us at that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net, and we will get back to you as quickly as possible to answer all of those questions. We're here to serve you, and we look forward to helping you soon.